a mechanism. So before we jump into our main goal, developing um, the displacement profile for cams, we need to um, learn the terms that we use for cam systems. The first one is dwell. It is the time or angle over which the forward displacement doesn't change even though the cam is turning. So remember from our uh, definition, the cam mechanism converts rotary motion to linear motion. And do, while it is doing that, there will be a position where the cam is rotating, but the uh, follower is not having a displacement. That is the dual time. And we'll see examples really soon. Then it comes the rise. It is the time period or angle over which the cam pushes the follower. So again, the displacement, the time over the cam pushing the follower is the rise. And when if it's a reciprocating motion, so when there is a rise, there will be a fall. So the, the opposite time when uh, the cam is moving, turning, and the follower is coming back, it is called the um, fall. So now let's look how these terms applies to our um, four different types of cam mechanism. So the first one that we're going to study is the pier cam mechanism. It is called pier cam because it has a pier shape. And you see it is circular on one side and kind of oval on the other side. So when it is on the circular side, if we start a zero degree from the middle of the circular side, so you see when the circular side is hitting the roller, it is not pushing upward. Only the oval part is pushing it upward and downward. So that's why we'll have um, dual time at the beginning and also dual time at the end. And in the middle, you'll have rise and fall. If this edge, the oval edge, is not sharp and it also have a circular um, um, portion, then you may still have a brief dual time at the very point here. Uh, but sometimes you may not have that if the point is sharp. So pure cam produces this um, sinusoidal uh, rise and return here. And um, the we can use roller knife edge or um, the flat head um, follower with this one. Uh, we can also apply um, either direction of rotation for pure cam and it will create the um, same displacement pro profile. The second cam mechanism we're going to study is the offset circular cam. The cam is circular and it is not um, rotating about the center, it's little offset. And due to the offset, it is pushing it upward and downward. If it was, a cent um, if it was rotating from the center, it would not have moved the uh, follower. And due to this offset, it is going rising and falling. And there could be a very brief um, dwell time based on the location of your uh, uh, the, the point of rotation or not. But mostly it is rising and falling over the um, angle. And we can use this um, cam mechanism in both directions, counterclockwise or clockwise. And we can use um, all three types, flat um, or roller or knife edge follower with this one. But uh, roller cam will work uh, more accurately with this type of um, offset circular cam mechanism. So our third mechanism is the hard cam mechanism. It also creates a symmetrical profile rise and fall. There is no dual time for this. Um, it can rotate 
counterclockwise or clockwise, either way it will create this symmetric rise fall uh, displacement profile. We can use the knife edge pro, uh, follower, roller or flathead follower, but the knife edge will give you the more accurate um, representation of the cam. So our fourth and last cam mechanism is the drop cam mechanism. It is also called um, snail drop or a spiral mechanism. It is based on Archimedes logarithmic spiral that gives a triangular non-symmetric profile um, when you use the cam mechanism. Uh, it linearly increases and then suddenly drops. It has no dual period um, and it can only work correctly if we use the um, knife edge follower and one thing to notice for the other three it can um, rotate we can have it function rotating both direction clockwise or counterclockwise but the drop cam only works in only one direction the other direction it will not work